Matt here, Atlas Precision Consulting. Uh, in today's video, we're going to talk about applying the sales price pages and books and libraries that we've been creating in previous videos to our customers. Uh, I'm in customer maintenance on the sales pricing tab. Uh, obviously, your pricing method needs to be set to pricing libraries for pricing libraries to take effect. You can have all the libraries you want down here in the bottom, but if this is not set to pricing libraries, it's not going to do a thing because uh, you, you can set a customer straight up as a multiplier and increase everything they buy by the same multiplier. Obviously, in this case, we want to use our libraries. Uh, I do want to call out another library checkbox here. Use uh, lowest prices uh, across libraries. So for some reason, if an item exists in a bunch of different libraries, books, pages, and all that that you have, this is telling the system that, hey, look at all of them and find the lowest one across all books, prices, or excuse me, books, pages, and libraries. Um, the other thing is you have all these job contract things, which we're going to cover in a different video. Those don't really have anything to do with libraries as far as using libraries. But I will say if an item appears on uh, job contract pricing and you have it set to use all contracts, um, it will pull the pricing from the job contract over the library. It won't even look at the library. It'll basically see, oh, this item exists on a contract. That's the pricing that I'm going to pull for this item. Doesn't matter if it exists in libraries or not. So that's kind of your hierarchy there. Um, now you see in this account, there already is a library. Just like you can have multiple books in a library, you can have multiple libraries on a customer. Uh, so we're going to hit the plus symbol here and we're going to add that one that we created earlier. Now you'll notice the sequence number here. What that's doing is it's kind of like it's filtering down. If you do not have this use lowest price across all libraries, if it finds the items pricing in this pricing library test, it won't even look at test four. It'll stop there. Um, those settings that we looked at when we were creating the library, those are all contained within the library. The first of newest of um, lowest of all that that is contained only within that one library. Um, so just make sure your your sequencing number matters. Um, now you can you can just type it in and change it and hit save and it'll do it. But you can also if you highlight on this test for down here in the bottom right, you'll see um, that you can move up if you can see it behind the logo. If not, there are buttons down there that say move up and move down. And so I moved up and my test four is now my top library. You can see it changed my sequence number. And then it's just a matter of saving. Next time I enter an order, if an item lives in that test four library, that's where my pricing is gonna come from. Um, if you guys have more questions about pages, books, and libraries, make sure you put comments and questions down below. If you got questions about anything else, put those down below as well. And stay tuned for other videos like job contract pricing, uh, rebates, things like that, that we're gonna focus on. Make sure you like and subscribe, and as always, Atlas will be here for your P21 needs.